equilibrium of three concurrent forces. Three concurrent forces, vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3. Three concurrent forces, vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3. Concurrent forces. Vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 will be in equilibrium, will be in equilibrium that is they produce equilibrium or they create the equilibrium situation they will produce equilibrium for the motion of a body on which they are acted simultaneously. They will produce equilibrium for the motion of or the motion of a body on which they are acted simultaneously. They are acted simultaneously number one if the resultant of the two forces that means the resultant of vector F1 and vector F2 will be equal and opposite to the third force vector F3. The resultant of vector F1 and vector F2 is equal is equal and opposite to the third force vector F3. Three concurrent forces vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 will be in equilibrium if the resultant of vector F1 and vector F2 is equal and opposite to the third force opposite to the third force vector F3. Number two, if the three concurrent forces are represented, if the three concurrent forces, vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3, concurrent forces, vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 are represented, are represented by the sides of a closed triangle taken in the same order. If the three Concurrent forces are represented by the sides of a triangle taken in the same order. Sides of a triangle taken in the same order. Sides of a triangle. Sides of a triangle. taken in the same order taken in the same order taken in the same order number 3 the three forces uh, should follow lamis theorem if the three concurrent forces, if the three concurrent forces, vector F1, comma vector F2, and vector F3, and vector F3, three 
the concurrent forces vector f1, vector f2 and vector f3 acting on a body, acting on a body, acting on the body, follow Lamy's theorem. Three concurrent forces will be in equilibrium if they follow Lamy's theorem. If they follow Lamy's theorem. And if, if we draw the diagram here, uh, three fo concurrent forces means three forces acting at the same point simultaneously. Uh, that is vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 are acting along different uh, lines of action of force at uh, definite angles. Here, uh, these are the two lines of action of force of vector F1, vector F3 and this is the direction along which vector F3 acts. Vector F1 acts along this uh, line and vector F, these are the direction along which vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 are acting. In this case, the angle between the lines of action of other two forces, that is the lines of action of the two forces F2 and V3 is alpha and the angle between the lines of action of the two forces vector f1 and vector f3 is beta and the lines of angle between the lines of action of first two forces that is the, the angle between vector f1 and vector f2 is gamma. So according to Lamy's theorem, according to Lamy's theorem, According to Lamy's theorem, F1 by sin alpha, when three concurrent forces, when three concurrent forces, vector F1, vector F2, and vector F3 acting on a body are in equilibrium. F1, F2 and F3 acting on a body, vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 acting on a body, it should be vector F1 and vector F2, uh, vector F1, vector F2 and vector F3 acting on a body are in equilibrium. are in equilibrium then f1 by sin alpha equal f2 by sin beta equal f3 by sin gamma F3 by sin gamma. In this case, alpha is the angle between the lines of action of second and third force, angle between. The lines of action of vector F2 and vector F3. Alpha equal angle between the lines of action of the two forces vector F2 and vector F3. The two forces vector F2 and vector F3. Vector F3. Beta equal beta equal angle between beta equal angle between vector f1 and vector f3 vector f1 and vector f3 gamma and gamma equal angle between the first two forces vector f1 and vector f3 
angle between vector f1 and uh, vector f2 angle between vector f1 and vector f2 additional information uh, that according to lamy's theorem according to lamy's theorem f1 by sin alpha f1 by sin alpha equal f2 by sin beta equal f3 by sin gamma f3 by sin gamma now if we draw the diagram in which three concurrent forces are acting on a body uh, or acting at the concurrent point simultaneously this is f1 f1 is acting along this direction and uh, the second force f2 will be acting along this direction third force will be acting downwards vector f3 or f3 uh, is acting downwards this is the line of action of the third force f3 and the uh, angle between the second and third force that is uh, angle between f2 and f3 is alpha angle between angle between first and third force that is uh, angle between vector f1 and vector f3 is beta angle between first and second force that is angle between f1 and f2 is gamma so these are the three angles at which three concurrent forces are acting at the concurrent point or common point so now if we consider f1 that should be divided by angle between the other two forces f2 and f3 means angle alpha angle between f2 and f3 should be considered alpha so f1 by sin alpha if we consider f1 then it should be divided by sin alpha so if we consider f2 then uh, it should be divided by sin beta means uh, it should be divided by sin of angle between first force f1 and third force f3 that means uh, f2 should be divided by sin of angle beta that means sin of angle between first and third force therefore magnitude of magnitude of one force divided by sine of angle between angle between the lines of action of other two forces angle between the lines of action of other two forces angle between the lines of action of other two forces other two forces bracket closed equal constant equal constant that means if magnitude of one force divided by sin of angle between the lines of action of other two forces is constant then they will be in equilibrium that means uh, the three concurrent forces will be in equilibrium or the body will be in equilibrium due to application of three concurrent forces on the body